Hello. And I'm telling you, I'm not going. Logan Lamaster. Stephanie Walker. <laughs> Welcome to The Mystery Files. The Mystery Files. Podcast. Bow, 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 bow. bow, bow. You know us. You love us. Some do. Apparently. Apparently some people love us. I don't know. We're kind of livable. We're kind of silly like that. If, any, if anyone likes to know, Tiffany got her first hate comment. And I deleted it immediately because I'm sensitive <laughs> like that. They told me my voice is annoying. And listen, don't tell me if it's annoying. If you don't like it, don't listen, okay? I'm sensitive. Last, we got, what was it? A couple episodes. I literally said, hey, don't give don't me do hate this. comments. I will cry. I will cry. I think that was last episode. Yeah, so literally I, last I don't episode. want to manifest that for myself. And also I did not cry. You didn't. So take Good that. Job. I just deleted it. I, wow. I took the higher road. You did. That's the fun part about having a podcast. Yeah. Although we're starting to post things on like YouTube and stuff. <laughs> now like people yeah. can really go in. You can't go on a we can Spotify. Still it, yeah. Yeah. You can't go on Spotify and like leave a comment. Yeah. What if oh. people started making like hate podcasts like about us? Mm. Like a YouTube commentary? Well, honestly, then I would just feel like they put so much energy towards us that they kind of actually like this. You know? Honestly? I feel like hate stems from a place of love somewhere, right? Yeah, Maybe. they they love me enough to leave the comment. Yeah, thank exactly. you. You cared enough to put enough energy in your life towards me, <laughs> and I appreciate it. You know exactly. No, you're yeah. absolutely right. Hey, I didn't cry, so ha. Yeah. Take that hater. Take that hater. Haters back off by Colleen Bollinger, Miss Miranda sings. Mm -hmm. She gets it. Yeah. But you got all the hate from the last episode we did, which yeah. was the slua. The slua. Spirits of the dead. Spirits of the dead. With the sh the. The, the slua she. she 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 yeah that was that's what you were corrected on yes yeah, someone, someone said i said i said seed on accident mm -hmm. also i did realize when i was editing the episode when i was spelling out slua i when i was like oh yeah it's spelled this way i literally spelled it wrong <laughs> in my brain i was like yeah it's spelled s-l-a-u-g-h it's spelled s-l-u-a-g-h so well someone didn't catch it but i did <laughs> Yeah. Was oh my god! Wait, so did I post anything on the social? That no, 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 no. It was just fine. You're good. Okay. No, I spelled everything right, like in or oh, everything else. I gotcha, just realized gotcha. when I was editing the episode mm. that I spelled it wrong in the like when I was speaking in the episode. Yeah. So muggy. That was a fun one to edit. The slow episode. Heck yeah, it was very fun. I like liked looking up a bunch of pictures for it too. Mm -hmm. Like the one picture I found of like that bird creature that's like <laughs> this. He's scary. He, he was a scary he's little dude. He's got Jeepers dude. Creepers vibes. He does. Yeah. He really does. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm. Also, last week we also watched the movie Leprechaun. Well, Logan watched it for the first time for mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And Logan was afraid, hopefully. More concerned than afraid. That's about right. But definitely, we'll, we'll have to do a, a watch of all the movies. That's going to be our yeah. next mystery saga. What was it? There's like seven or something of them? Yeah, there's like seven of seven. them. How, it's how insane. There's so many. What the heck? I don't think yeah. I know. It's like insane to me, though. Yeah. It's just like a whole thing. So we're going to be watching it, but <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Hope you had some creepy vibes. Hope you got to see Moira in the corner of your bar, <laughs> since that was also in the last episode. Hope you got all the fun times. Amazing. I feel like... Yeah. Uh, we talked about this already, but we released the last episode on St. Patrick's Day. But yeah, I feel like yeah. this episode, in theory, is going to be on your birthday. On my birthday. Your birthday. Which is on the 30th of March. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Your birthday. Am I going to be 24? 20... Yeah, I forget. I think I'm too. 24. I think I'm 24. I think I'm 24. I think I'm 24. I forget my ages all the time. And one time I was like definitely convinced I was a year younger for like a whole year. Really? Did yeah. It, did it work? Were you like. Well, no, I did. I just did not realize. And I was like, oh, wait, my bad. My bad. But now I know. Yeah, I'm going to be 24. It's going to be fun. I get stressed. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, it's going to be a good old party time. Yeah. And then you have a little party that we're going to have on the weekend. Yeah, I'm having a little party. Sleepover. Yeah, it's a costume party, and I don't even know what I'm going to be yet, so that's really fun. I think I know what I'm going to be. Should I tell you? Or should yeah. you be surprised? Yeah, tell me then. Okay, you know how I have those green pants? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You care about my fashion? That's fine. I care. Also, you said this goosebumps yeah, so shirt when it's literally say, slappy. You've got literally the fashion right now with your little slappy of a dummy guy from Goosebumps. <laughs> Yeah. I, I have the green pants. Okay. I'm thinking of doing maybe like a Kim Possible moment. Ooh. Like like be in a little like get a little black crop top, wear Cute. the little green pants. There moment. might be two Kim Possibles. Not me though. Who? Lexi might be Kim Possible too. Well tell Lexi to change her mind. No. Tell Lexi to do something else. No. Because I already I probably had the green pants before she did. Probably not. So 
I I'm gonna text her. Text her right now and ask no. her if, if when she got those pants. Do you want to know what my phone is? Who, who have you been friends with longer? Who have you had a mystery podcast with longer? Do you have a mystery podcast with Lexi? It's actually a secret one. It's one, <laughs> it's, it's one that doesn't get hate comments. What's it called? Mystery Files? <laughs> Wow, 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 too soon. I think it'd be really fun to steal a concept named Mr. Files. I think it'd be so cute and fun no, and fresh. No, no, It's so no, new. She can't. No one's ever done Tell Mr. her Files. not to. Tell her no. not to be Kim Possible. It'd She's be cute. You can have the Kim Possible off. <sighs> I guess I'll be someone else. No, because she might not even be Kim Possible. No, because I don't want to embarrass her by being the best Kim Possible. <laughs> I'll be texting her after this. There was another thing she said she If she listens to the podcast, she's going to hear me drinking. No, she'll hear it the day it comes out. That's not even possible. We just sent her this clip. Hey, Lexi Queen. I hope she she's she's listened to the show before, so like she might listen. I don't know if on the day of though. I love that. The dedication. That's so smart. But yeah, so it's gonna be my birthday. It's gonna be so fun. But I couldn't think of a better yeah. way to celebrate. Then for Logan to present some wacky case. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I'm concerned. A case that's going to give you a lot of anxiety. Mike Logan, why are you going to stir the pot and a little bit more? I've got enough issues. He said, hmm, I'm going to add a little more things to it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so excited. I'm curious to see how you're going to uh, approach talking about this uh, talk, like this okay, subject. Okay, okay. Because you don't say uh, the thing that it has to do with. Anyway. Or do you want a little it's drum roll? Should I get swear? into it? Sure. It might be a swear. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? This week on the Mystery Files, we will be covering the case of the Well to Hell. The, bum, bum, bum. the Well to Hecky Weggy. Yep, that that's what I was wondering. Yep. That's what you were saying. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I the Well think. to Hell, baby. Oh, that's kind of scary. Yeah, it's I feel very like scary. I've not heard of this case. I've heard of the idea, mm. maybe. Is it like an idea or is it like a. There's cases around Like, it's it. like a case. Like, so okay. we're gonna, I'm going to go through some stuff first. Uh, mm -hmm. There's also some stories written about this. Ooh. Some little creepy pastas. Oh, I'm, I love already. Very love. on par with uh, the Polybius <gasps> case. Really? Some factual, some not fact. Oh. You guys will see. Oh, heck yes. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Let's get into it then. So, the Well to Hell is an urban legend regarding a uh, borehole in Russia, which was uh, known to be drilled so deep that it broke through into hell. Great. So they, they were drilling in and they found hell. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it was just, it was earth all along. <laughs> it's right here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. This is the third place. This. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the legend holds that a team of Soviet engineers, uh, led by an individual named uh, Mr. Azakov, in an unnamed place in Siberia, had drilled a hole that was nine miles deep. That's deep. Uh, mm -hmm, real deep. Uh, real honestly, deep. not gonna lie though, when I first read this and it said nine miles, I was mm -hmm. like, I feel like that's too, like, that's not that far to get to hell. If you think about it, you know, like ten yeah, miles underground. To be fair, yeah. Because, like, that like, doesn't how deep seem that is the deep. ocean? Should we like, look? how many miles deep? How is, deep? Is, like, the deepest part that we've discovered of the ocean, at least. Sorry. What is the deepest part of the ocean? In miles. Because if miles. it gives yes, me yes, kilometers, yes. I'm like, not going to know what's going to be that. Means, homie. Seven I'm miles? Like, really? Only seven? That seems wrong. That feels inappropriate. That doesn't feel far enough down. That explains things. What, what about 10,000 leagues under the sea? <laughs> The mapping, mapping. That's what's ten thousand leagues. Yeah. Um, really, only seven miles. There's no way. That's what it's saying. For the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench. Mariana. Wait. Trench. Okay. How? How many <laughs> miles? How many? Gosh. Okay. How many leagues? Um. Uh, how many? How miles many leagues are leagues? in a baseball team? <laughs> not the right thing wait what are you saying leagues of what is that like ten thousand leagues under the sea okay how like many, the book how many miles how many leagues is leagues, miles <laughs> leagues to miles conversion yes okay <laughs> God. i don't even know what book leagues you're referring to, to. Mile. you've never heard ten thousand leagues under the sea i've heard of it i don't know what it is are you kidding okay me? one wait what was that is that the right thing no i'm showing you ten thousand leagues under the sea oh. first i'm educating you <laughs> wow this is a book series. Oh, it's 20,000 leagues under the sea. You scared the heck out of me. 20,000 Sorry, leagues. guys. It's 20,000 leagues under the sea, not 10. You were just a little off. 
Okay. Just a little. Yeah, just double it. Okay. Double it and give it double to the next person. Pass, pass it on. Okay. One nautical league equals three miles. So, okay, so okay. Uh, we're already way past seven then. Okay, <laughs> wait, so math, so... <laughs> 20,000 times, maybe say like three, I feel like it's... Cal I wait, have my phone. wait, wait, I can do this, I can do No, I can't. Two, four, six, wait. Eight, who do we appreciate? <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Dude, it's 60,000. Wait, try, try That's, that. That seems wrong. Wait, just see. 60. Do what? 60.4 thousand. I want to see. Wait, put 20,000 in that thing. Okay. My guess is 60.4 thousand. Okay, I was really off. That seems wrong. That's 69,046. I'm really bad at math. That's, that seems incorrect. But that seems right. It says three miles. So if you do 20,000 times 3.4. Times 3. 0.4. No, I'm, I'm rounding down. 60,000 miles. Make oh. it easier on us. So I was only, you know, a couple thousands off. So, okay, so 60... Thousand miles under the sea. To be fair, t uh, twenty thousand <laughs> leagues under the sea is just some random book. It's also just a like book. it's a fiction. Yeah. But I, anyways, though, still nine miles. That seems like nothing. Yeah. But I guess that's more than what we've discovered in our ocean. So according to accordingly, according to some people, mm -mm. seven miles. <laughs> Diddly squat. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, so they uh, they digged nine miles deep before breaking through a cavity. So right. that's just like, you know, like a whole underground, like a kind of like a open area mm. moment. Like an open tooth. So like any normal people would do, they would, um, they were intrigued by this discovery. So they did what any sane person would do. And they yeah. put a extremely heat tolerant microphone into it. Like they put a microphone down into there. Wait, what, I mean, honestly, I feel like they'd have some wacky noises all the way down there. Like, yeah. What were they, what sounds do you think could be down there? We're about to find out. Oh, <laughs> That's Satan the noises. video I was talking Satan about. Satan noises? Mm -hmm. Are they going to be talking to us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So they said, um, they said that they could hear tormented screams of the dam could be heard Great. from the microphone that they had under there. That's... And that it was about um, a thousand degrees Celsius or 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit of heat down there. Ooh, oh my gosh. That's hot. That now? Wait, were they in the drill when it went all the way down there? I don't think like, there was, was someone like in the drill. Or, well, I thought it would be like a, like how a submarine would have people in it. Like if it was like people and they were in like a little thing that had a drill on the end of it going all the way into the ground. That'd be really funny, but I don't think so. Okay. I don't this think so. Me? I think it's like one they did like remotely. Okay. Like you could like work from home and okay. like drill it down there. This reminds me, I had to make a Lego movie when I was in high school. And mm -hmm. my premise was basically <laughs> um, that there are these people who like made this drill to drill into other planets to get water as like a life source because Earth had like run out of water inside my story. Mm -hmm. So they went to other planets to like drill down to see if they could find water. And what'd they find? I don't remember. Hell? All the way back Atlantis? Then. Atlantis. Were they drowned? I think they did find ice and they made it into water. But keep in mind this is a Lego movie. So Making I ice into water? That's Jesus magic right there. Melting? <laughs> <laughs> Melting ice. Melting ice. <laughs> yeah, so I basically made up this entire story. Just See? now? Oh, you mean... <laughs> A whole fabricated lie about the thing. No, I did it in high school. I don't think I still have the file anymore, though. But can I did you, make it. I promise you. Can you remake that Lego movie, but with this premise instead? Yeah. I have Legos, and I like building Legos now. We <gasps> we could do a Lego story. We can do a Lego movie. I know how to do it now. <gasps> on you where? Just move, you can do it on iMovie if you really want it. Bet. You just take photos and move it and move it and move it. It just takes a lot. Let's do it. It's animation, love. But yeah. Can we do it? For yeah, real? I'll do it. Please. Okay, yay. Okay, <laughs> yay. Heck yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh, so let's move into our mm. stories <gasps> yeah. about this case. So there's two. Okay. There's two stories about this. This comes from the Creepypasta wiki, you know, okay. where everyone gets their information. I love Creepypasta. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Getting my creepy voice on. Like my... I'll get my creeped out look on. Yeah. I just had a thought. 
Yeah. I just forgot we got a hate comment also that was saying I sounded like one of the guys who does the creepy pasta voiceovers. They were like, "Good impression," and I was oh, like, "Oh, I was wondering what they meant when they said good impression." Yeah, I was like, "What impression?" They kind of dragged me. I was like, "Damn, yeah. people rude. are just in a spicy little mood lately." Yeah, they're gonna hate this. One. <laughs> we're gonna hate this. <laughs> well, lay it on them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Newspapers in Finland were the first to report of this story to have to be an actual event. From there, it has spread around the world. Engineers working on the Kola Peninsula in Siberia were drilling a well searching for oil or natural gas. In addition, they found rare geological formations and even gold. Mm. Eager to discover what else the well would yield, they just kept on drilling. After more than a year, the well was about 1,800 miles deep. Okay, so in this this yeah. story, they're saying they got real deep they into it. They got real deep. Uh, then one day, the drill bit suddenly began to rotate wildly. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a scary visual. Yeah. Like, oh. It's like my head, like... Spinning around the canal. <gasps> it's the drill. We've been attacked by the drill. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, so the geologists and engineers felt a blast of searing heat gush out of the hole, me, oh. and they oh. <laughs> heard faint sounds emanating from the well. They raised the drill and lowered temperature gauges to measure the heat at the bottom of the hold. It registered over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm. And a geologist said, we've penetrated to the molten center of the earth. Ooh. So this person thinks they found the center of the, the it's Earth's crust. It's like the crust. movie, The Center of the Earth. Or Journey to the Center of the Journey Earth. Journey to the Center of the I Earth. I love that movie. The I, remake, too. What I don't it? have any science to back this up with. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know where I heard this before. But I have heard that if we were to break into, like, the Earth's core, yeah. we would, like, die. Well, because isn't it too hot for us to even Yeah, like, get to? like they said something about, like, if that were to happen, it would rise up and, like coat the planet over like like a fun little with lava, with lava like kind of like a nacho cheese like yeah. dip over some tortillas yeah you got a whole like um hot lava moment going on because their, their last one was a uh, Vesuvius oh yeah I guess I just really like fire just, and lava and volcanoes and hell well I think that's why I did this because you were like you did not like how much I wanted to screw the devil in that in the last I know, episode, I was so I was like, I literally hmm. summoning Satan, and I'm not a fan of it. But yeah, what's better to summon Satan than hell itself? Mm -hmm. When you were little, were you convinced that you could like dig to the center of the earth? So I definitely was. I oh, know, absolutely. I think I already said this on one of the episodes, but I used to like dig in my yard to see how far I can get. And yeah. I so, yeah, that was yeah. my favorite thing. So this is me like reliving, but I don't want to hear what's down there. <laughs> There was one time we had like a swing set yeah. and I digged underneath uh, the swing you know. set. Yeah, I'm, I know where this is going. Trying to get in there. Mm -hmm. and, you and then I was on the swing and yeah. I was like going around and I like would fall into the hole. Oh, I thought you meant you dug, you dug around where it like went into the ground. So like it slipped and I thought the whole swing set just went, went. and fell over. No, yeah. I would just kind of like dive into it. When you were younger, did you ever swing so high on the swing set you got it over? pop of the thing to go no back but i've seen that on recess before i wish yeah. it was real or did i have you done it well i've gotten really high but i can only do backflips off the swing when i was younger backflips like you would go really high and you would like flip yourself over off of the swing and land on your feet that's how you break your neck i lived <laughs> but yeah i did that when i was younger now now i got too much anxiety to be doing all that but i could do backflips off the swings maybe that's why you have like chronic pain because you did that and now, i went, like, I went your body, hardcore as a youngin like you cracked some part of your spine they and said, now you've never been now you've same. got chronic back pain <laughs> <laughs> um me. but the geologists after they said they found the center of the earth uh mm -hmm. they said but that doesn't account for the sounds mm -hmm. one of his colleagues answered back so they lowered they lowered highly sensitive microphones down the hold. Up from the well came sounds of the agonizing screams. Absolutely not. And they were quoted saying, We haven't penetrated the Earth's core, the geologist said. We've entered the gates of hell. Absolutely not. Bum, bum, bum. That's so dramatic. That is extremely dramatic. For <laughs> jealous to be like, We've entered the gates of hecky wicky. We've right? entured the gates of hell. <gasps> I'm not even telling National Geographic that. Like, you're getting an interview and you're like, We found hell. The researcher's like, Okay. And the person just keeps repeating it more aggressively. We time. found and hell. They're like, All right. Okay. But what was the actual <laughs> temperature? Look like, at my spikes on the <laughs> <laughs> We found hell. <laughs> It looks so aggressive. <laughs> How did it go that high, you rat? We found hell. We well, found that was good. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> <laughs> 
you can never be a demon working in hell. I you'd think be so like, good. You'd be like, all right, time to go to hecky wacky. But like, you know how like some demons are like so happy it's scary. Yeah. Like I can be like one of those bright ones. It's like ha ha ha, you're gonna die. Like, you know? Oh like, yeah. Ha. Honestly, I could see that for you. Like, like a, a little, little bit of horns. Demon. Yeah, like a little red one just running around with a long Aww. tail. <laughs> Wait, we'd be kind of cute with it, actually. You know what we'd be? Do you know, like, the little demons um, in Hercules? Mm-hmm. That would be those guys. So cute. Halloween costume. Yeah. And Screw be... Benjamin. We're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Couple's We're costume. Doing... Couple okay, costume. Way. You and me. Absolute no, it's us. It's us. Who's going to be her? Benjamin can be Hercules. <gasps> Wait, that's actually really cute. We just found our Halloween costume, guys. Don't have you. Get ready for those That's Halloween promo pictures. Trademarked. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so there's also an alternate version of this first creepypasta mm -hmm. I was telling about. So in an alternate version, the set story is an Alaskan oil rig. So it's not even in Siberia. It's Alaska. Uh, as it is. This one's wild. Okay. They say there's 13 workers were killed when the devil came roaring out of hell. Oh my gosh. So they were drilling. Found hell in the devil mm -hmm. came through. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Roaring? Really? Roaring. And oh, he killed man. them. Wow. I mean, my question is, who's the one documenting this happening if they're all dead? Did all Good 13 point. workers? Yeah. What, well, it's not everybody. Were killed? Yeah, oh, that so would like be there, everybody there working there. There were more than there. 13 workers, and the rest yeah. of them went, yeah, my friend was killed by Satan. Um, but they said that they heard sounds coming from the hole that they, like, dug into, and they were screaming, help us, or get us out of here. That's horrifying. <laughs> also, that sounds very movie-esque. Very cartoonish. Or to be like, oh my god, get us out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, get us out of this hole. <laughs> if safe. I was in hell, I'd be like, oh my god. Somebody save me! Oh my gosh, it's so warm down here. <laughs> it's so hot. Can I get a glass of water? I'm parched. Can I get the hotel AC, please? Please, let's keep oh it like Oh my god. <laughs> it's too warm down here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get into the second creepypasta story, part Ooh, two. Part two. So this one is a more, like, in-depth telling. It's from, like, a POV perspective. Mm -hmm. Um... So we're going to get into it. This one's pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun. Pretty positive. This one's called Underwater Screams. <clears throat> <clears throat> Getting the narrating voice on. Yep. <sighs> I'm not much of a writer. Keeping memoirs was never something I used to do, but I will try my best to make this look neat and polished. First, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is William Christopherson. All right. Good name. All right, okay. Great name. White great guy. name. Yeah, yeah, wonder, <laughs> wonder. Mm, big white guy named me. William Christopherson. From the UK, huh? The UK, huh? <laughs> um, and I am a scuba diver. White. His name is William Christopherson <laughs> and he's a scuba diver. Stop, there's probably like a listener. He's like, that's my name. And I'm also a scuba diver. It's hard to give validity to this story when he has a last name like Christopher. Someone out there is going to be like, that's my last name. That's very offensive. That's the you one dislike on this you YouTube video is from William Christopherson. I think it's Christopherson. Huh? Shut up. <laughs> Christopher Robin. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. Exactly. Uh, or rather, he used to be a scuba diver. <gasps> I worked in underwater research, taking pictures beneath the ocean surface and gathering various specimens of fish for studying. Mm -hmm. I had been doing this crap for 15 years while playing, while paying alimony for my kids. Man, that guy. Dang. Dang. He's going through it. <laughs> Sorry, William Christopherson. <laughs> Sorry, my guy. Sorry. Hard life. Maybe you deserve it. Maybe oh, that's yeah. why she left you. Maybe Last name like Christopherson. Maybe the That'd kids leave were like, you too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. One day I got up early for another ordinary dive into the ocean. None of us knew what was going to happen that day. We all thought it'd just be like any other dive. I got on the boat with the rest of my buddies and we sailed quite a ways out there into the ocean. Then all us divers went into the water, about 200 or so feet deep. Nothing unusual, just do the job, come up, dive in again, do the job, come up, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Until yeah. quitting time. 
Quentin time. You, you thought it was going to be like scary until. Like, until. Ah, oh, Quentin no, time. It's just the end of the day. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Right? It's five o'clock somewhere, am I right? Man, right that Red Bull. Five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Well, before the second or third dive, we went out a little ways further on the boat, about 30 leagues west of our present location. Leagues. 20,000 leagues. <gasps> So how many leagues is this guy again? 30, you said? I well, he's remember. not underground. He's 30 leagues west, I think. Oh. So I think they're just the, the horizontal, not... <laughs> that vertical. horizontal space, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that horizontal that space. That horizontal place. I and the other guys dove in thinking it was just another dive. Mm -hmm. I got separated from the rest of the group while underwater. Right. Normally, that shouldn't happen. Yeah. One of the rules of scuba diving is to stick together. Stick <laughs> Together. Stick together. Got it. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, I decided to check out this underwater cave that sat away at the bottom. My guy. <laughs> By yourself? Are you dumb? Even if this has nothing to do with Satan... You're going to either get eaten by a shark or get your foot caught somewhere in that little yeah. cave. Yeah, especially because you're not with other people. You're not with other people. You're so silly. Don't do that. I love it. Uh, mm -hmm. It was dark. Really dark. Uh, yeah. And deep. Me. Dark and dank inside that wolf. I had my flashlight with me, so it wasn't too bad. How does the flashlight work underwater? I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, Logan. Fake story. Womp womp. Wah, Fake wah. story. Ooh, Flashlights don't work underwater. You can't <laughs> trick me. You're dumb. Huh, you thought you got me? You think Thomas Edison put a light bulb down there? Yeah. Get a grip. Yeah, yeah. You think yeah. they got electricity down there? No, they got electric eels. Get a grip, William. Get a grip, William Christopherson. Ooh. <laughs> um, but even then, the darkness was something else. Surreal in a way. It was as if you could feel it. That's how friggin' dark it was. That's it his says, words. It says friggin'. It says friggin'. I didn't... F-R-I-G-G-I-N. Friggin' dark. <laughs> um, I hadn't been in that cave ten minutes when suddenly I heard horrific screaming coming from up ahead. Ew. No, no. I honestly can't describe the terrifying sounds I heard, except that they were human voices <gasps> screaming at the top of their lungs. As if they were in lots of pain. I wonder if his first instinct was like, oh my gosh, my friend's getting attacked by sharks. Or like... That would be my first thought. Like, like they get attacked by something. What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. But also you have to think too, like, if you're underwater and you can hear screams, that's wild. Because you're in like a very pressurized yeah. environment. So if you can hear sound emitting that harshly... Mm -hmm. Those are loud screams. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's a lot that's of Because if you ever like talk audio. to your siblings or anything underwater... Like in a pool or something, and like yeah, scream. Like a, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. Or like I wouldn't yeah. scream as loud as I can, like under a pool, because I thought it was funny. Because I can, like, I had a really amazing horror movie scream. You have a really and good scream. And I would always, I would love to do it like at the bottom of a pool, because like then you can hear it a little bit, like above water. And then you can water. see the bubbles coming yeah, up. Your... <laughs> and it's so good. Oh my god. So yeah. This that's what this guy heard. But it was you. It was you like, were in there. In the cave. You were just messing with him. I was like, haha, this will get him. It was your uh, episode special on Impractical Jokers. You're like, I gotcha. I gotcha. Murr's like, yeah. <laughs> Devil, come on out, buddy. Come on. My guy. <laughs> um, so at the same time, the water had gotten warmer. Ew. Did this peed. man pee? <laughs> Ew. Uh, not by much pee, but enough <laughs> to detect a difference in the temperature. He peed. He literally, <laughs> he literally he got peed. He so scared, he literally peed. He, he, he widowy peed, peed himself. He widowy just peed himself. He widowy All just over the ocean. ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. You widowy. That's like my nightmare. Something about like talking like that makes me angry. What? Like widowy? I don't know why. Even when I said it, I was like, I'm going to punch myself in but the But those face. squeams made no, my flesh no, shrivel. No, no, no. <laughs> that like gave myself, I gave myself the ick. And now you're giving me the ick. Or is the podcast over now? Well, good night, good folks. One. Have a good one. <laughs> um, but those screams made my flesh shiver with absolute horror. Oh I don't God. remember ever having been that scared before. I swear to God, there were hundreds, maybe millions of screams coming Ew. from that cave. Mm -hmm. Men and women and maybe some children. I was so freaked out that those shrieking voices, I couldn't stand it. I rushed to get out of the cave, swimming as fast as I could, not looking back. I was breathing heavily, something that isn't safe to do while underwater scuba diving. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> He's like, just so you know, I'm not, I'm not a diver. 
Oh my god, and I'm just imagining all the past. bubbles, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I could see that, how like... <sighs> well, yeah, you probably have to breathe yeah. at a certain rate, and if you do that, you're like... Yeah basically taking most of your oxygen yeah because with the oxygen tank it's like they're like circulating like mm -hmm. air for you oh my oh, gosh that would send me into a spiral like a panic attack yeah you'd just be down there because the think, whole burial would save you i think yeah aerial clean i think it's already hard enough to be breathing like that underwater because i've watched videos where people go scuba diving for the first time and like it's hard for them to get a bearings mm -hmm. on how to actually breathe with it on mm -hmm. so like if you like messed up your breathing once i feel like then you would be freaking out yeah, no, exactly. I would get, I would get scared um, thinking about it. Um, like, mm -mm, it'd be too much. I, I think that's what would get me. I don't think being in the ocean, like, free would freak me out because I would, like, mm -hmm. be by the fish and stuff, but I think the breathing would be the part that would get me. Yeah, that yeah. that would be it. I, that's why I'm scared to scuba dive. Like, I know, like, they put a lot of safety measures mm -hmm. in place, but I'm like, I'm worried I'm too stupid to, understand to, how to, know, to know how to breathe. Yeah, exactly, no. I'll forget. I will forget. I'll forget. When I was younger, I would convince myself I didn't know how to breathe. Like, you don't know how to breathe. No, I would genuinely, I'd be like, and then I'd like struggle for a second, and then I'd be like, <gasps> like, like <gasps> I'd be like, oh my god, I forgot how to breathe. That was, a really, that was a tough call. I, but genuinely, I would tell myself I couldn't breathe. That, you have power. But like, then I would eventually catch my breath after I was like struggling and like turning purple. And I'd be like, wait, I can't, I do know how to breathe. Like, wait, I wait, 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 no, I was just kidding. I was, I was just kidding. kidding. I, was, I do know how to breathe. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this guy made it it probably didn't did he well uh i got up onto the boat safely got perfect next sentence that's what i want to hear <laughs> shaking like a leaf shaking like a leaf. my buddies and the other guys aboard couldn't understand what was wrong with me and i didn't tell them what had happened until a few days later no one believed me they all thought i was freaking crazy why does he keep saying it like that he doesn't want to curse he's Man. a he's he's a hecky wecky but yet he said he double hockey sex <laughs> <laughs> That's what all, like, white suburban moms call it. That's what the devil calls it, too. The devil calls it H-E double the hockey devil, stock. Stephanie Walker. The devil calls it H-E double, double hockey sticks. sticks, where I'm from. Where I'm from, I just call it hecky wicky. I call it hecky, I, what do we call it, hecky wicky. <laughs> Somehow it's more acceptable when you're doing it in that voice. I'm, what do we doing? The gwitty. The gwitty in the hecky wicky. I am the devil. <laughs> I am the devil. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah. I don't know what those screams were, but I knew they were there. I heard them with my own ears. A few people I've told this story to say that I heard the screams from hell itself. Ew. At first I thought them insane, but now I'm beginning to believe them. My friends think I'm insane. They don't believe one word of my experience. I quit mm -hmm. my scuba diving job and took up employment at a hardware store somewhere in town. I've sworn to myself I will never dive or go in the water again. I have never forgotten those screams, and I never will. They haunt me in my dreams every night, but I don't tell anyone about them. I don't need any more of their, <laughs> you're crazy, crap. Am I like, he'll say crap, but he won't say... Friggin'. Friggin'. <laughs> he won't say the, the other one. The other one. The other word. <laughs> <laughs> um, my life has changed since that horrible encounter in the cave. I've become more realistic about the reality of hell. As an atheist, I don't believe in God, but as a scuba diver, having, but as a scuba diver, oh. I believe. <laughs> but as a scuba diver, having heard those screams from nowhere in an underwater cave, screams that have left a permanent mark on my life, I must say I do believe in a hell. That's an interesting idea. To not believe in God, but you do believe like in hecky wecky because mm -hmm. in my brain i feel like even like from the standpoint that's not like coming from a religious background for someone to believe in hecky wecky wouldn't they also have to believe in god mm -hmm. because satan was a fallen angel or is a fallen angel so like can you have both and not believe mm -hmm. in god i don't know i don't know Who, who's to say who's to say what the literally say okay. yeah also <laughs> the fact that he was like yeah I, I can never go in water again I feel like... How are you going to take a bath? Well, yeah. How are you take a bath or water? I think he does mean, like, the ocean. But, like, why not just go to, like, the beach? You don't have to go down into, like, a dark, deep crevice inside of a cave again. You don't well, have there to, you go. You don't have to be submerged underwater. But the fact that this drove him away from being a diver forever is kind of nuts. <laughs> Did you have Drag Race playing that whole time? No. <laughs> what no, that? I had a video clip I was going to play. 
And they literally were just playing K-pop videos in the background on autoplay because I forgot to stop the you video. silly goose. How much have I watched since that happened? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's only like... Only like a couple. 20 minutes, that's fun. Stop it. Um, but anyway, to wrap up what he said as well, um, he said, I don't know if there's any chance of escaping it, but I know it's there at the center of the earth. I heard the screams. I know it's true. No one can tell me otherwise. I know it's for real. Thanks for reading my story. Oh my <laughs> like, like, subscribe, rate, <laughs> rate comment. <review>. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yes. That's pretty nutty. So, I that's like his story. That reminded me a lot of, there's this, um really cool podcast I like called Let's Not Meet and I've told you about it. Yeah, you have, times. yeah. But like that sounded very much like one of the stories that would be submitted through like the Let's Not Meet. I think it's like a subreddit Ooh. called Let's Not Meet and the guy gets um like submissions from that. I could see that. Yeah, but that was that. very much like that same right? vibe of like just spooky. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, just I definitely spooky. wouldn't go diving after that either. Like yeah. diving that deep hear that yeah so this story is a little different from the whole like drilling into like the ice thing but it still has like the same core idea that like going a certain amount underwater or, under or like anything. any anything is hell's there like somehow we can break through to it mm, that's creepy mm -hmm. very much like stranger things except if the upside down were just techy wecky exactly but very like, that mm, there's like portals isn't that fun <laughs> mm -hmm. there's portals like all around us Speaking of fun, do you want to hear the sounds from hell? Sure. Here, I'll close my eyes so I can just really be immersed in the Amazing. experience. Okay, so to, yeah. to clarify before I play this clip, so mm -hmm. um, this is where I was really excited to do this case because there is some truth to this, okay. but it's not maybe the truth you're going to be thinking it is, but it's very fun. So I just, well, there's still a plot twist coming. Okay. We so got a plot twist coming. This sound in particular, is this like sound yes. someone's recorded from their experience or like? Yes. So this clip was sent in to a Christian radio network okay. called IBN, I believe. Mm -hmm. It was like a radio station um, through the 90s mm. and uh, like the 80s and 90s, I believe, late 80s, early 90s. But basically, this person sent this clip in and this Christian radio ate it up and they played it like all the time. Ew. So what happened was, is that like actual Christians mm -hmm. and people in religion thought like this clip was real and they were using it as like evidence for the existence of God and the devil wow. and hell like it was like a huge thing like a fear tactic almost or just to like try and approve like the well it's to prove to atheists and like scientists that they're wrong because they said they there. found we found scientific evidence we have this clip Tea. um okay. so this is the original clip that was sent to the inb radio station that they played for like the masses mm -hmm. to believe like hell was real Ooh, so creepy. it's a really okay. fun clip Okay. okay. I'm not going to play the whole thing through because it's like three minutes, but I'm mm -hmm. going to play the beginning and a little bit of the horrific screams from hell. Fun. It's just going to be like pop music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Now I've got a clean copy of it now, and uh, I warn you, uh, this could scare you. Here's the email. Dear Art Bell. I just recently began listening to your radio show and could not believe it when you talked about the sounds from hell tonight. My uncle had told me this story a couple of years ago, and I didn't believe him. Like one of your listeners who discounted the story as nothing more than just a religious newspaper fabricated account. The story about the digging, the hearing of the sounds from hell is very real. It did occur in Siberia. My uncle collected videos of what on the paranormal, supernatural. He passed away fairly recently, but he would have loved your show. He let me listen to one of the audio tapes that he had on the sounds from hell in Siberia, and I copied it. He received his copy from a friend who worked at the BBC. It took me a while to find it tonight, but attached is that sound from my uncle's tapes it's not the greatest quality but the sounds are there well, it's quiet. i was very hesitant to send you this as the sound 
bothers me to listen to, I'd suggest that if you do play it on the program, warn listeners in advance so they may have the option of turning the radio off for 30 seconds while it plays. Mm -hmm. It has always haunted me. To those who discounted the Siberia sounds from Hell's Story, it is true, and I, for one, wish it wasn't. Rick, listening from Chicago. And so I submit now to clean the a better copy to you, and uh, I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed. <laughs> I don't like the way it made me feel. Either. That's why I didn't want to play the whole thing. This would have lasted for another minute. Hey God, I was not going to do that to you guys. God, I or... love you. I just got to say that. I get real freaked out. I feel like stuff with Satan like makes me uneasy. I love God. Well, it's not about Satan. It's about hell. So it's not directly Satan. But like, <laughs> I feel like there's certain things that like I feel need to like go pray. Or like well, keep telling God I love him. Because I feel like that's not giving good energy. <laughs> Well, if it helps, the top comment's really funny. It says, I love watching ASMR videos like this when I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I feel like that rose and renounce of anxiety in my chest. No. This is what I wanted, but not like this. <laughs> not like this. Not here. Ew, that's so creepy. Right? Ew. Isn't that nuts? When I first heard it, I was just like, what the mm -hmm. heck? But yeah, this was like... This was like a huge thing. Like it, they, the article came out and like people were like, "No, there's no way it's real." There was like a bunch of issues between it. Mm -hmm. And then this clip was sent in to that radio station, and everyone was like, "Aha! See, it's real." Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. No, if I were to hear that in my car, like on the radio, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I think it was the end of the world. It's the end of times. Yeah. Like. No. I also that, like that he said to, to tune out for 30 seconds like it doesn't last another minute. <laughs> he said, I'm going to trick him. He said, what if I play a silly do, little trick? I'll leave 30 seconds. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to do a quirky little prank. A little, a little fun little silly little prank. I was playing this in front of uh, <laughs> uh, Danielle, my mm -hmm. roommate, and like she was just like, what She's are like, you what doing? What are you listening to? <laughs> and you're probably just like space. laughing and giggling at it. And she's like, Logan, are you good? <laughs> Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So. No, it's really demonic. Are you ready for our plot twist? Our What's little, the plot twist? little confusion? Yeah. Our little moment? What's the moment? So, this is what I'm really excited about. This is why I feel like such a good researcher, like mm -hmm. feeling like, okay, come on, MLA format, come, come on, we're excited. I found this article from ChristianToday.com. Mm -hmm. It is a newspaper website, and this is an article that was released about the scientists discovering hell in Siberia mm -hmm. from July 16th, 1990. Okay. This is an article from 1990. Mm. So. It's a Have you heard about the scientists in Siberia who accidentally drilled a hole so deeply into Earth they found hell? Quotations. This question came from a caller on my daily talk radio program. They've documented it in everything. There's a big article about it in a scientific journal from Finland. The scientists were trying to drill nine miles into the earth, but broke through the earth's crust into a place that was 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you know, we know the story. They lowered the microphone in, human voices, the screaming. Uh, the story was being circulated by a Texas evangelist in a national Christian television network. No one had bothered to ask why the scientists had stuck microphones down the hole in the first place <laughs> yeah. or what kind of microphone they used that could withstand 2,000 degrees. Mm -hmm. But after I started receiving other calls about it from different parts of the country, I decided to check it out. Oh, gosh. So this person investigated into it. Mm -hmm. So the Helen Siberia story is the latest in a string of memorable 
stories that have made the rounds of the Christian community over the last several years. They are what Professor Jane Harold uh, Brunvand of the University of Utah calls urban legends, mm -hmm. fables, and myths that get passed along as true stories. Uh, Bruvin's best-selling book, The Vanishing Hitchhiker, is titled from an urban legend that has been passed around the Christian community for decades. Versions of the story va vary, but usually include a man who is driving along a lonely highway and picks up a hitchhiker. After a period of time, the hitchhiker issues a warning that Jesus is coming soon. Have you heard this one before? I don't know, but I The hitchhiker know. one? Maybe, maybe I've heard it vaguely. I feel like I've heard it once or twice. Okay. Here and there. We're getting to the I'm good I'm intrigued part. to know where it goes. I feel like I I might know, maybe. Keep mm -hmm. going, keep going though. And mysteriously disappears from the moving car. In some variations of the story, the hitchhiker is described as an angel or a ghost or a person who it is later discovered died a few hours earlier in an auto accident. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely heard that one mm -hmm. before. That's, that's scary. Yeah. Nobody knows how many half-true or completely false stories have been passed from person to person in recent years, but some rumors have grown large enough and have had such a staying power to include them in the Christian Rumor Hall of Fame. Where is this at? I've never heard of that. Yeah, so there's like, basically, like, I think this person coined it on the article, mm -hmm. but it's basically just like the amount of like fairy tales that get spread by sometimes like the Christian community. And this person mm -hmm. themselves is like a Christian, like talking about it. Um, but there's, you know, stories that get told that are like not fully like true or it's like yeah, a pseudoscience. Like a mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a part of it. So this is playing detective. So the the person in the article says that leaders need to get into the habit of checking things out before they pass them along so like uh, the evangelists who have been saying that the drill happened or like the hitchhiker story is real like these people who have a lot of power in religion mm -hmm. and can like make impressionable things especially in the 90s too yeah. when like the internet wasn't super accessible like it's probably either. easier to like misspread information exactly that way, it's all word of mouth or like yeah. On things like radio stations? Yeah, exactly. Um, so she says, It has astonished me and my staff to see how many people consider a story that's documented as long as it appeared in print or was broadcasted on mm -hmm. the air. A good example is the story of the Siberian drilling operation. There we go. When I asked the Texas Evangelist Office what documentation they had on this story, I was faxed two pieces of material. One was a copy of a Finnish article. The other was a letter from a man in Norway which had been sent to the television network. First, the article was not from a respected Finnish scientific journal that it was like um, that they had alleged it being. It was from a newsletter published by a group of Finnish missionaries. Oh, so they think that maybe they might have like yeah, like so. Something? So the Finnish missionaries, they sent it in as a submission for it. Like it was a submission to this article. It was not like a, it was one of those like submit, like submission parts on like a newspaper. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Uh, we contacted the missionary group in Finland to ask where they got the story. A staff member said she had read it in a newspaper and passed it along through word of mouth to the editor. Great. Yep. Uh, we found the newspaper and an editor there told us that the Siberian drilling story was not a news article, but had been, mm. more plot to us, had been in a letter from a reader. Oh my gosh. Like before with the radio recording, it was a letter from a reader. Oh my gosh. This just sounds like a really bad game of telephone that just went. A bad, bad <laughs> game of telephone. And that's why I'm like super excited that it's like a big plot to us that this never happened Da da da! Uh, surprise! If you if you didn't know already, man, this didn't happen. But what about the sounds? We're gonna get to those too. I know. I'm so excited. Oh. We tracked down the reader who told us he remembered seeing the story in a Christian magazine published by the Helsinki. Uh, the editor of that magazine said he got the story from an elderly man who translated it from English and thought he got it from a Christian newsletter from California. Bad game. Telephone. <laughs> like, terrible, terrible. There's like 10 layers already. 
No one knows where this story came from. Well, so then it just shows that it's probably not true. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Yeah, so the letter to the Christian television network from the man in Norway said that he had seen the Siberian drilling story all over the papers in Denmark and included a clipping along with what he said was a translation. We followed up on the letter and contacted its author, um, Age Re Rendelin. That's a cool name, actually. Age, Age, Age Rendelin. A school teacher outside Oslo. I asked him if he had any way of knowing whether or any of it is true. Rendelin said, yes, I do. None of it is true. I fabricated the letter and the translation is fiction too. The My article guy. I sent is a feature about a Norwegian building inspector. So the article he sent in as proof was not even like if they would have translated it from Finnish. They, they would have known in, it was fake. How they not get in so much trouble for all of this? Isn't that insane? They probably all felt like idiots. Right? All it's just like, like, oh my gosh, like just news. The fact that this man was like, yeah, I lied. I'm just a filthy liar. So Redolin explained that he had been visiting California and had seen the coverage of the Siberian drilling story by the evangelist and the TV network. Oh my gosh. It was obvious to him that neither had worked very hard to substantiate the story. Mm. He thought that if he sent them a fictionist letter, they would use it. And he was right. That's shady. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So the, the best part mm -hmm. about this whole thing, um, you were asking about the sounds too. Yeah. So I did some digging as well. And I found through Snopes.com where it came from is actually um, the audio clips mm -hmm. from a horror movie. I was going to say that sounds like it's straight mm -hmm. out of a horror movie. Oh my gosh. Did mm -hmm. they know what movie it was or no? I or believe they various? did. I believe they did. It was called... Oh my god, what was that movie called? Let me look real quick. Where is the little... Where is the movie? If we were movie... Bear in Blood. Bear in Blood? Or Bear and Blood? Bear in Blood? Like B-A-R-O-N. Oh, Bear in Blood. Yeah, Creepy. Bear in Blood, a 1972 horror film directed by Mario Bava, an international co-production with Italy and West Germany. Mm, fun. And it's from 1972. So they, the recorded tormented screams were looped together from various sound effects from that movie. Like, he took, like they edited them together to they just, loop them. They just kept looping the sounds. Over Ooh. and over and over again to no, make the nightmare. fabricated story. That's a nightmare. Yeah. But oh. this, this is where like the other fun kicks in. This is the last part. I, I feel like so like tricky. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I pulled a little I've trick on you. Y'all have been tricked. Y'all have been tricked. It was already intriguing to begin with, but, um, so basically the last part, um, that I wanted to talk about with that is that there was drilling that mm -hmm. was done, okay. but it wasn't in Siberia. It was in, uh, the Kola Peninsula. So mm -hmm. the Soviet had in fact drilled a hole more than 7.5 miles deep and it was called the Kola Super Deep Borehole. Great yeah. name. Borehole. Sounds like a whale. Like a borehole. Yeah. Blowhole. Borehole. Borehole. Super uh, your deep. hole bore. Bore. Super deep. If I was in the movie Holes and I saw their holes, I'd be like, oh, bore. 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 Oh, I love holes. Uh, but it was not located in Siberia, but it was on the Kola Peninsula, which shares borders with, get this. What? Siberia? Norway and Finland. Where the story started, That's where they sent freaky. the letters in. Upon reaching the depth in 1989, some interesting geological anomalies were found, although they re they did not report any supernatural encounters. So... <laughs> That's why I was so excited to do this on the Mystery Files, because it is paranormal, it's fake, mm -hmm. but it's also true crime at the same time, because it actually happened. People believe this happened. That's a hot mess. It was a huge issue. This has, like, similar vibes to, um, oh, what was that broadcast? The show, the War of the Worlds mm -hmm. thing. It has very similar I guess I vibes. like stuff like that, huh? Yeah. I love a, I love a fake People story that liars. causes... I did Dancing Plague, too. Well, that, that actually happened. No one knows why that happened. Yeah. But. Could say it was a mystery, I guess. Wow. Uh, well, well, why would we do a mystery on a mystery podcast? 
who knows in this economy yeah yeah but that's why like because at first when i realized it was all fake i was like should i even like do this case but then i was like thinking i was like no it still counts as a mystery because it counted for them yeah because how many like why are there so many layers that it's like a giant game of telephone i got it from california then from finland then i sent it to some missionaries then i packed a box to abu dhabi sent it back got a refund went to the grocery store got some food came back took a shower went to bed you know yeah the whole nine yards the whole nine yards Why the whole it, nine nine miles deep the whole nine miles the whole deep. twenty thousand leagues under the sea baby. why do you have to go so deep with it though like it's nuts that there's so many layers yeah like peeling back it's yeah. hard to find the root really right and that's the thing is like that's why this is so fun is because like there's no exact cause all the this christian today <laughs> article like the the people who worked there were able to find Mm -hmm. was the guy who sent the original og letter to the television broadcast network that sent all of like american religion Mm -hmm. into a frenzy that like i'm not here to say god does or doesn't exist but fake evidence that he does exist yeah which is like mind-blowing i want to talk to some like church ladies soon and Mm -hmm. just see if they remember this Mm. like some nice sweet old church ladies and yeah like, hey you happen to remember when this thing broadcasted or like yeah when we're hearing this on the radio i'm just curious like anyone yeah that we know knows of it yeah if you're religious or anything please send us like a comment if you know anyone who may know this story yeah, or because if you, were, if you were alive in 1990 i was unfortunately born in 1999 so like i've got no input on this i was born in 98 so i'm just still right off still of it. still shy of it so yeah. like someone's got to tell us if they've heard it like yeah. live in living color but yeah, that's why I was like, just so gagged to like do this. Because especially when I found the n- article from 1990, I mm-hmm. think that's the most dated article I've done on the show. I don't know about yeah. you, but I was like, this one is dated, dated. 1990. 1990. That's all elderly. Turn of the decade. 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 <laughs> so what did you think about the well to hell? Well. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> well. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I did like the idea that it existed. I still, mm-hmm. part of me still wants to believe you dig deep enough. Right. That you're, I gonna, mean, you're gonna hit hecky wecky, or you're just gonna hit some lava, and you'll see, you'll see death real soon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Some little I, Mount Vesuvius action. Some Vesuvius. You're probably gonna see death real soon after yeah. hitting that lava. But I don't know. I love like the lore behind it all. The fact that there's yeah. so many stinking layers that like it was so hard to find the root mm-hmm. of how this even happened. Yeah. And the fact that it got, it grew into such a big thing. Mm-hmm. And people thought it was real. Yeah. They well, that's, were... that's why I wanted to do it. Because also, like, I like said this in the beginning, it reminds me of Polybius. Because mm-hmm. Polybius was, like, a real thing. But it got, like, blown out of, like, proportion. proportion. Like... So who's to say, like, hell isn't in the center mm-hmm. of the earth? I don't know. I haven't been. I haven't Have been Have you there. been? Have you been? Have you been? Have you been? Have you been? I haven't. You been I don't have enough back? air miles. Man. <laughs> air miles to go to the side of the earth but yeah so you liked it like, just, like the fun like the craziness of it i was like so excited that's why i like put my best script on sharp no, and ready to it go it was so good I, that's especially the sound that really freaked me out mm-hmm. and i know now that it was that like, it's all fake that's, that's why i was fake. like but like that sound you. is too real yeah and it freaked me out and i didn't like it mm-hmm. well that that was what i wanted to do for this episode i wanted to gatekeep gaslight and girl, girl boss, boss. Oh, wait, you girl boss too close to the hecky wecky. I, I girl boss too close to 10 miles underneath uh, Siberia. And the sun. In the sun. Wherever that is. The center of the earth. Mm-hmm. With the devil. Yep. He's what are we in hell. What are we? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? But, that one hurt. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess mm-hmm. the well to hell will forever fully remain. A mystery. A widowy? It's going to remain a mystery. It's hard for me to keep doing that. <laughs> mystery. I think I'm pretty good at scary voice. You are. You do a really good job at it. <laughs> it's like I'm almost Satan. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys yeah, for thank watching. You for do you want to plug the handles? I'll see if I remember them. Come to us on Z Instagram at the Mr. Viles underscore. Get us on YouTube at the Mr. Files Podcast. Yes. And also on TikTok, Mr. Files Podcast. 
And you can always go to our link tree. You can spot that on Instagram or wherever. And that's going to have links to all of our different things, including our Red Bubble. Not Red Bubble, yeah. Red yeah, Bubble. we're Red Bubble. Yeah, I forgot Red what Bubble. Think. It's a Red Bubble account, and it has our merchandise. If you'd like to give a little look at that, we got stickers, we got shirts, we got baby ones. Because we're babies a fan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah, that's what we got. And we're excited yeah. for you guys. This was episode eleven of season seven, and mm -hmm. we'll see you next time for Tiffany's case for in episode case. twelve. On episode twelve, and I'll be a whole year older. You'll be a whole year older. I'll, I'll literally look old. You'll literally look what old. Do we? You you get older, but never wiser. Is that Taylor Swift? No. Get older, but your lovers stay my age. That's what the line is, isn't it? See, I'm a Swifty. No, I'm not. All right. Good night, Bye. everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye.